Good morning world from Shaka Cafe here at Cloud9, Shargao Island, Philippines. The family is all here and I've just noticed they have actually rebuilt a Kubo on the end of the Cloud9 Pier. This is something that wasn't actually here the last time we visited, maybe just last week. So <laughs> It went up pretty quick. Yeah, they really smashed that thing up. It's definitely <laughs> smaller than the last one that was built. I'm glad they put something there because it was yeah. looking a bit unfinished. Yeah, it needed something. It's looking good. Yeah. Maybe next time we come next week, it will be finished. Yeah, or maybe they'll add stories like over time, like add a different level and then a third oh, level. Yeah. I don't think they will. It looks like they've done a roof on it. Yeah. <laughs> we all enjoyed some smoothie balls and some pretty food, as Auntie Shell called it this morning. She said, oh, this is the first pretty food that I've seen since we've come to the <laughs> islands. Like they watch the vlogs and they see us going to eat all these places, but they haven't seen anything that looks colorful and brightly lit so <laughs> Shaka definitely ticks those boxes yeah. we're now walking down towards the cloud nine pier to see what it looks like over there we haven't actually walked down this pier for probably over a year maybe so even longer than that years. oh two years actually yeah I mean I was a baby then yeah, I was you were like two years old I remember not jumping two three I actually remember jumping in those puddles yeah if this is the first video of ours you've ever seen, welcome. We're a British family that came to the island of Shargal three years ago. That's why Story can remember walking down this boardwalk and slipping on a piece of wood. <laughs> it's been a while and we've been here a while and it feels like it now, but it does also feel like home. It's a beautiful place in the northeast part of Mindanao, amazing place to live and that's the reason why we decided to stay here. Story's cousins are visiting right now. This is their first time in the Philippines, so they're acclimatizing to the weather, acclimatizing to the way things are here. Do you remember coming up here years ago? Yeah, and it wasn't like this, it was all the rickety old things there. <laughs> but I did notice though that it was much further out. You think so, yeah? Yes, it was yeah. much further out than this. Sasha said the same thing, but yeah. I wasn't sure. You yeah, agree? I'm not sure, now I'm actually yeah. on it. Yeah. I'm not sure. Know. Maybe it is the same. Yeah, when we get to the end, maybe we'll get the perspective from there. It's pretty cool up here. It's definitely better constructed than it was yeah, before. I, I remember Shorley just jumping the little thing there, not worried about falling into the crack. Yeah. We're going to check out the bridge, see if there's anything going on over there. How are you feeling, Papa? You scared? <laughs> <laughs> Just don't look down. Hey Story, I think you've done something magic to your mummy. Because mummy's normally really afraid of wooden bridges. I normally am, yeah. But she's like not showing much fear today. How are you feeling, Sash? Fine. Okay. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Because Story's just running on ahead. I said, hold my hand and make sure mummy's okay. She went, no, I'm doing my exercise. <laughs> <laughs> so, there you go. That's that then. Go on then, do your exercise. <laughs> Daughter helping mother overcome her fears. <sighs> Story is so happy right now. I love watching her running around exploring. Imagine standing here one day watching Story surf these waves. Or maybe we'll even get into surfing ourselves the longer we stay here and we could surf as a family. Surfing Cloud Nine, how cool would that be? Three-year-old story, running along like nobody's business. And there was a little puddle of water where she was splashing on there. Yeah, I remember you that. All that. <laughs> story says she remembers it too. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. So if you don't already know, Shargao Island is the surfing capital of the Philippines, and they actually do mega competitions here at Cloud Nine. And you can go over to this jetty bit and stand in the kubo, and you can look at the action and take some photos and sometimes they've got media crews here they do big competitions it's actually a 
international world-class destination for surfing. All right, we made it to the end. Jay's got Devon on his shoulders now. Cam's got Leone. First time being at the end here. Oh, they still feel the end, don't they? Oh, how is it up there, Devon? You're getting a nice breeze up on Uncle Jay's shoulders. Is it high enough? No. Oh. <laughs> right, so on closer inspection, they are still building it. When you see it from the shore, it looks like they're building a Kubo, but it does look like they're going to build more. And this is going to be the scaffolding that they're using. So it'll be a while yet, I think, till it's done. It feels quite surreal to have our family walking along this boardwalk with us. It's just one of those moments that we'll look back on and think, wow, this is actually happening. <laughs> I'm glad Papa or Emma got to see this area again as well, because this is one of the places that she remembers well from her previous trip here. And it's nice to see the construction coming along and to be able to show everybody the recovery of the island from the pandemic and of course from the storm as well. This is just one of those really nice family moments. We've just been taking a leisurely walk down the Katang Nan and Cloud Nine area. We actually need to go and buy Story another pair of shoes because she lost one. We think a stray dog might have come into the property and nicked one, it's gone. And unfortunately, it's not the only thing that got nicked. Sasha put the paddle board down by the end of the garden yesterday at the Airbnb we're staying at and some local kids came by and stole the paddle and we know that because we actually caught them on cctv camera so we could see uh, the kids jumped up stole the paddle and ran away and it's really a shame because they the same kids were actually in the vlog that we filmed the day before so sasha was talking to them like they seemed really friendly and then literally minutes later they came down to the property and just nicked the paddle so we've told the host uh, who obviously lives around the area and they've reported it to the police and hopefully we'll get it back but if we don't hopefully the kids will be taught a lesson of some kind if they can catch who they are and they won't do it again because obviously it changes the vibe makes you feel like you're not safe in you know on holiday and that kind of feeling which isn't the case here we haven't had that experience yet and i don't want that to become a thing going forward but anyway back home now and story wants to show us something <laughs> That's a really good jump. I love the way you tucked your knees up as you went into them. Yeah. You want to see that again? I'd love to see that again. Yeah. So I am going to try and keep myself straight this time instead of bending my knees. It's going to be fun. Oh, I didn't do it. No, you have to bend your knees. It's the only way to get in. Let me try again. We got Story's flipper set out, which was kindly given to us by one of our subscribers a few years back, but they didn't fit before. And we tested them today, didn't we? <laughs> it didn't work. And they, this worked really well. Story actually can fit in them now. Yeah, she was swimming underwater across the pool and it was fantastic. So definitely part of Story's diving journey. And um, I, I was swimming with those flip flippers and I went up to my cousin Devon, Devon's, um, I just went up to my cousin Devon and I, and I said, hey Devon, do you want to race? And he said no, and I don't I know why. Why? Because I'll definitely beat him. With flippers on, yeah. <laughs> it's like having a motor on your feet. Uh -huh. Today has been overcast all day, which has been quite nice, but I'm so glad we had that incredible weather yesterday, which you probably would have seen in the last vlog when my brother and I went out for the photo shoot with Matty, one of the main surf photographers on the island. He's already started to send through some photographs onto the Google Drive so we can start seeing them as they go. And I'm so, so glad we did it. It's one of those things where you often don't think about how important it is to have professional photos taken. Everyone's phone is so good now that you kind of lose the desire to get out a big camera. But when someone else is doing it for you and you can capture those memories in that way, that's like going to be wall level photography you can print out and stick up there forevermore. There's an Aspen dog out there 
floating around in the sea, chasing fish. Very cute. I've seen this dog a few times come up to the land. There's a few more sweeties down there, just enjoying the beach, making me miss my dog, Poppy. Poppy's dog sitter has been still sending lots and lots of updates about her and it's so cute to see her having such a nice time over in our house. So even though Poppy's not with us, she's still having an incredible holiday of her own, or I guess you could call it a staycation in her own house. And she's been really well looked after, which makes us very happy. Get it's locked. the next day. Yeah, let's, we're, gonna swap. we're about Let's to ride. give these bikes back. Story's nope. sitting on mummy's bike, which is gonna go back to the mechanic. Nope. We're, and we're going the to guy swap from Loose Keys is gonna pick this up soon. Whoa, Devin, look at you. Oh, that that looks cool. cool as well. Look at that, fantastic. Hold the handle. Okay. Three, two, five, six, nine. Oh, done. Oh, I'm amazing. I'm glad we got that photo. We're the, the motor cousins. The motor cousins. You look amazing like that. <laughs> Meanwhile, on my staycation, I'm enjoying life at home with the air conditioning. There's a power cut at the moment, but I've got my solar power. I refuse to get up. I've had a tiring walk this morning. It is a hot day out there. Can you believe I've actually got a babysitter looking after me? Anyway, I'm going to do the shout out. Must well get up for that. So my mum and dad promised two shout outs today. So we're going to start with Febelin Carino. Thank you, Febelin Carino, for being a member. And the second one is Alpha Male 01. You guys are amazing. Thank you for becoming members of my channel. Anyway, it's time to go back to sleep and get my beauty rest. I hope you enjoyed today's video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.